am about to wrap a silver grip on a cello bow and just showing the fixture that I use to wrap a grip with. This is an antique hand drill that I've modified for the purpose of um, turning the stick while I wrap the wire on it. It's fixed to the base and on the other end of the base is a hole for the stick to go through and I hold the wire in my left hand and turn the turn the drill with my right hand. So position this just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I've already marked the front position of the frog and the length of the grip that I want. So I'll mount this my fixture here. Tighten it in there. Like that. And then as I turn this, you can see as it turns the stick. So knowing the weight ahead of time of the bow, uh, I've already figured out the length and the diameter of the silver wire that I'm using. And so I will, um, to start the wire, I will wrap, wrap a winding, just kind of loosely, and then I will just hold it on there with tape. I actually like to use electrical tape for this, just because it holds quite nicely. Give it a, a wrap or two, and then position it right at the point where I want to begin my grip. And the first few turns, I'm just I'm just sort of testing it to make sure there's no gaps. And once it gets going, it goes fairly fast, as you can see. And I'm I am holding tension on the wire in my left hand so that it is not loose. I'll just kind of pause for a minute, just kind of look things over. And then keep going. If you want, you can actually pause, pause winding and kind of work the tarnish off the silver. In this case, just for the ease of making video, I did not do that. So I'm getting close to where I want to stop. A little wrap. Stop right there. Little, little clamp here that keeps things from moving while I solder. I do solder the ends of, of the wire, uh, both ends, and just dip the soldering iron in a, just a little bit of rosin, and then actually look in this way. Just put a spot of solder at that point. Same thing on this end. I only just put a single spot on the two points. Um, I do make sure I solder on the bottom facet of the stick. It's not necessary to put an entire bead of solder all the way around the stick. It does tend to scorch the stick and just try to avoid that if we can. Knife will, will cut the wire and trim, trim off the silver right at the point where I want it on the bottom. So there is the, the silver lapping. That, that was, uh, the stick was a little light, so I wrapped eight centimeters. And to finish off the spot of solder, I do take the tape, and I just kind of put it right on the edge of the stick, like that. Let me position this and focus it a little bit. So I focus 
Yeah, you can kind of see that. I put the tape there mostly as a protection as I file this in case things um, get a little bit off center or something. You're not filing into the stick. well used up. I'm just filing the wire with the solder down flush to the surface of the wire. Okay, so just filing the solder flush. I'm going to do the same thing on this end as well. Now this end of course is the end under the grip. At this point, I've got a little bit of steel wool that I will that I will just sort of buff the wire with, and it just kind of polishes the silver, takes off the tarnish, and just kind of makes it makes it look nice. If you desire, you can follow that up with a silver polish cloth. Um, just kind of remove the crumbs from the steel wool. It's kind of like that. That is how I do a silver lapping. Just like that. So at this point, I remove it from holder. And just going to inspect everything. And ready now for a thumb grip.